this one. This one was just kind of a lot of mixed up stuff that I didn't want to toss, so I just moved it over there and added some thinner and came up with that color. And that's perfect for doing your first, um, like I call it like your sketch layer. And it's just kind of a thin brown um, at the bottom where you're just kind of mapping out where you want that hair to go. So let me find a baby head that isn't too warm. Let's start with little bean. That's a little head that's easy to, to make happen. And the brushes that I use are these. I just take cheap, cheap brushes from the craft store and I cut them up with nail scissors. That's it, that's what happens all. is every once in a while I'll have a favorite brush for the day and I'll just keep using it until I get tired and I'll grab something else. And um, I just play until I, I find a brush that works for me. At first I was using fan brushes, I was cutting fan brushes but it was just too wide on a little tiny head, and so I went to a smaller fan brush, and that was okay, but it didn't have the control I wanted. And here's one of my first attempts at cutting a brush. Um, kind of choppy, maybe I should clean that one up. It still worked. And then, I, you know, I got a little more brave and started chopping up um, a lot of those hairs. And here's a really good one. This is one of my favorite ones. And it just looks like a fork or a rake. There's like no secret. And then that you need some thin liner brushes. Um, you can get those at the craft store. You can get them online like nail art brushes. Um, I went to the dollar store and found a bunch of these little brushes. They were all in a pack. I think there were like six in a pack for a dollar or something like that. And they called them nail art brushes. Let me take off the lid here so you can see it. And it has kind of a fine line. Let me see if I can. And they're nice. Um, I don't like using this. It's too tiny for me. Some people that might actually be great. And if it is, good. Go down to the dollar store and grab one of these. Um, grab a bunch of them. What I use these for mostly is um, varnishing, or not varnishing, but glossing up lips and nose and stuff. And then I just toss it when I'm done because that stuff gets hard and it's, I don't have water out here so I can't do a lot of rinsing. Mostly I forget, leave them on the table, they dry up and then I just throw it in the garbage. Don't tell anybody, that makes me feel bad. Before I get started, let me say that I did what everybody else does. I got online and I looked at everybody's hair painting tutorial. I may have even paid for a couple of tutorials and I just started noticing a common thread in all of them. And that common thread is, and you're not gonna like hearing it, is practice, practice, practice. That's all there is to it. There's no secret. Um, the first thing I would start off with is just going online and looking at pictures of babies and see what kind of hair you like. Or even look at Reborns. What kind of hair painting do I like? What kind of, what appeals to me? and then just start practicing with that. The common thing with all babies seems to be, and not every baby, but for the most part, a lot of babies, is they have kind of old man head. So they have a lot of darker hair here around the base. They have a little bit of dark hair here, a little sideburny things. This part right here tends to be a, have a little less hair at the temple here. And then at the crown, you, you tend to have, you know, a little bit more hair. And um, so those are the places that it looks darker. Here, here, here. And with babies that are older than a couple of weeks, you'll see a little, a ring of little less hair here. And that's just from their little heads being on the, the bed, the crib, the pillow, the mommy, whatever, and just rubbing. And those little fine baby hairs they come off super, super easily. They're not meant to last forever. Not every baby. Some babies are born with a head full of hair. Some babies just have a ton of hair. Some babies, and I had one of those babies, zero hair, nothing. No eyelashes, no eyebrows, no hair. Um, they might have some fine, fine, fine fuzz around where eyebrows would be and back of the ears on, on their shoulders. So you have to decide what you like, what appeals to you, and just work at that. Um, but let's just, you know, do something basic here. 
to begin with. Get one of those little rake brushes. So I'm gonna go for a thinner, a thinner paint. This is how thin it is. Whoa, it's drippy. And we're gonna sketch. If you don't like where the hair goes, wipe it off, no big deal. You could do this all day long. We'll go at the base of the neck, and this is just what I do. Doesn't mean it's the right thing, it just means this is what I do. I put some baby neck hairs on. Some cute little baby neck hairs. You can make them curl any direction you want or make them straight. It doesn't matter. A lot of this is gonna disappear when you keep painting. This is not the, the end hair. Well, it isn't for me. Okay, so now you have some baby neck hairs. Because I know that's where lots of baby hair goes. And then I'm gonna go to the sideburns and give them a little a little hipster sideburn action there and then I'm gonna go to the top of the head I'm horrible at squirrels I don't get them I don't understand them uh, they're not that big a deal to me it's just where the hair starts the way I think about it is like a son depending on what kind of little kid you were we all did it we drew a son like this and then we made rays come off of it, just like that. That was our first son. Then, as we got older and cooler, we made wiggly rays like this. Oh my gosh, look at that sun. It's, just, it's like, it's moving. And then if you were a weird, arty kid like me, and you drew on everything you weren't supposed to, you made a circle. Let me get a little paint here. You made a circle, and then you made the rays all go in the same direction, like this, like a pinwheel. Oh my gosh, look at that sun, it's so groovy. Okay, well, you know, I'm old, so we did. So there you go, I don't know if you can see that very well. That's kind of the same thing that I'm doing on the top of this head. I am not gonna draw the circle. Actually, you could if it made it easier for you. I'm just gonna make that groovy sun. That's all. And this is gonna continue from the top of the head all the way down. That's, that's all there is to hair painting. Make that cool little, little sun. And you're gonna go down the sides of the head with that. That's as simple as I can make it. And that's kind of how I taught myself to do this. So you start off on the top of the head and I'm gonna make that little groovy flower we talked about. Don't worry about anything else. It'll all work itself out. Just make that little flower. And then somehow that little flower has to connect these sideburns into the back of the hair. So I'm gonna take it all the way down to the head and find some baby hair. Take it all the way down to the back of the head and find some baby hair. And I'm just gonna do this all the way around. Don't worry about anything else. Keep it nice and light. If you hate it, start over again. No big deal. Now this obviously isn't for curly or wavy hair. This is just a basic hair painting. And if you want wavy your hair, just make it wavy on your way down. No big deal. This is this is your world right here. You can do whatever you want. Make it yours. Own it. Love it. If you don't, take it off. Start over again until you do. Now, the top of the head, when I get up here, I'm not going to go down to the forehead yet. What I like to do is make this little backward S shape. That's it. Now remember, we wanna keep the hair thinner here, thinner here, even at this stage. There we go. My first two kids had a lot of hair. Then my son had just a little 
bit of lighter hair. My first two had dark auburn head full of hair. And then my son was born, he had blondish, light baby brown blonde hair. He didn't have as much. And then my youngest son was born looking like he had been given a, kind of like a, like a little a buzz or a crew cut. All his little hairs were all the same size. And they laid down and when he was born he was all wet and he just had little bits of hair. And then when he got dry, it, they would lay down and be super soft. Um, but if he got a shiver or when he was nursing, his little hairs would stand up on end and he'd look fuzzy. He looked, I don't know, he reminded me of like a little penguin. It was adorable. I loved it. There we go. This is just your first layer. It's like, it's like, um, it's like sketching. It's just sketching. And again, you can tweak it, you can erase it, you can go back and do it over again, which I might, because I'm not super thrilled with this, because I'm painting at a weird angle, so you can see it. But just for the sake of uh, doing a demo, maybe I will just leave it and work with it so you can see what happens next. That's not terrible. I didn't want to put this much hair on this baby. Preemies don't usually have a lot of hair. But I'll leave it. So I'm gonna let this dry and pop it in the oven. And that's only if you're satisfied. If you're happy with it, pop it in the oven. The reason why we're gonna do that is because we wanna keep this, we don't wanna lose this. And so when we do this, the next layer, you're gonna play around. If you hate it, you get to wipe it off, but you don't lose this, you get to keep this. And you do that every layer. So every layer you do is a, and bake is a layer you keep and love and want. I mean, it's, how miraculous is that? That's awesome. It's like foolproof. You cannot fail. If you make a mistake, wipe it off. You don't lose the work before. And um, because I'm braver and I've done this a little bit more, I'm gonna just go around that little part and thicken it up a little bit. And, um, that's pretty much it. Voila, step one completed. Pop that baby in the oven. I'm gonna do most of them the same, probably um, just this, this baby brown hair, um, just because I like it, I like the way it looks. And it goes probably with the complexion of all my babies. I don't think I'm gonna be doing a blondie. Oh, oh, and before I forget, this is sort of important. Keep an itty bitty little sponge and every time before you put that baby in the oven, go grab those ears and wipe them down. Here is Darren. I'm gonna give you a peek at his little first layer of hair. Very similar to me. You're gonna find that you're doing the same hairstyle over and over again or the same three hairstyles because for some reason it appeals to you and you like the way it looks and you like the way it looks with the baby and it almost becomes uh, something you just don't even think about doing. And I'm just finishing up. Remember, you're just bringing the, those little rays all the way around the head. And at this stage, the paint is so light that it doesn't have to be great. I mean, it'll, it'll, dimensionally, it's gonna be there and it's going to add to the overall baby but um it's going to be a layer underneath all the other layers Ta -da, no eyebrows yet i just i don't want to mess with that until i'm done with all of this and let me do another baby i'll be right back